Hi, this is Valerie and welcome back to Now Gardening. As you can probably see, the skies are gray today and it's a little bit on the chilly side. So it's kind of early in the morning here and I just really wasn't all that motivated to work in the garden today. So I decided to do something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be planting some flowers and also a few herbs that are attractive to our beneficial insects. Oftentimes we try to start keeping this area clean in the summer because I get a lot of snakes and other things coming in And so with that I get rid of a lot of the wildflowers that are naturally kind of growing here Which inhibits the pollinators that are normally around my garden So I thought let's do a nice thing for those pollinators for our beneficial insects. Let's get some flowers planted so I have these concrete posts here. I'll do a close-up on them so you can see but I have these concrete posts that are at the end of each of my terrace walls. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have five on this side and I have six on the other side. And these things tend to be kind of a catch-all for my trash. I just cleaned this one out actually. These are some transplant pots that I, that I had that just ended up getting left out here. I'm hoping that it will also help me clean up the garden and also keep it cleaned up, be motivated to keep it cleaned up by having something beautiful here at the end of the, each row that is going to add some aesthetic value to the garden. So you might be asking, what are we gonna be planting? So today I have a mixture of these little circles. I have some chives and some, let's see what do I have. I have chives and I have verveine, which I think is vervina in English. It's called verveine in French. I also have some edible flowers. And I have some borage seeds. And hopefully within the next few weeks we'll start seeing some nice growth and color here in the garden will help this area be not only a little more pleasing to the eye but also more pleasing to our insect and pollinator community that we want to attract to our garden so let's get started so this one has a lot of grass in it I'm just gonna pull that oh, I'm not even sure what that has in it oh, interesting did not know that I guess it's not a completely hollow pipe as I thought I'm just actually going to use this, turn it upside down though, why not? Some nice organic material in there. Or this is a vegetable garden area, not a flower garden, so I'm not going to be too particular about it. For this one, I'm going to use some... I'm going to use some borage seeds. These are a little bit old. I got these for my dad last year and I think he had maybe already had them for a year. So not 100% sure if they're going to come out. So I'm going to plant a little bit more probably than I need to plant here. But then I can always thin it out if I want to. But in the meantime, hopefully some of them will germinate and come up. This one's kind of the same thing as the other one. It's actually just a bunch of moss and a big chunk of old soil. So I'm just gonna mix that all up like that. Add some fresh potting soil. And what seeds should we use for this one? This one, I think I'm gonna use the chives. We're just gonna divide this around the seeds to fill up this entire circle. Because these circles are not quite as big as I thought they were gonna be. So, add some soil over the top of them. Oops, I need a little bit more there. And then I'm gonna water and move on. I have to say, I thought these were gonna be a little bit bigger than they ended up being. So we're just gonna kind of cross them over, double up a little bit. Actually, maybe I'm gonna just tear this one. Kind of tearing around the seeds. Put that one like that. I 
with edible flowers. We can keep the tape from blowing away. So that takes care of all of the concrete, I'm just going to call them in caps, on my terrace walls. So they're all full now with some fresh potting soil and some seeds. So here I just dug out all of the grass that was here. It was pretty thick. It was about like this actually over here. Like that I cannot get it to come out. It's going to stop there anyway. I don't have enough. So I'm going to plant edible flowers from here across that should also kind of look pretty. These are some of the roots that I got out here from in front of the raised bed. I'm going to put this thin layer here that's going to hopefully let the seeds germinate before the grass starts kind of smothering them. I'm going to take my little ribbon here. You can see the, you can see the seeds on there. The wind is kind of picking up. I'm just going to do a little thin line of them. Thank you for joining me today as I took the steps to spruce up my garden area. Hopefully in the coming weeks, I will start to have some color out here that will add a little bit of sunshine even on our grayest days. Take care and I hope to see you next time. Bye.